welcome to another video which is completely different from the usual Iron Man progress series I do. So um, recently I've been grinding out a lot of syrup and I recorded about 300 kills. Um, I missed a couple of kills um, so in or instead of 300 I have 289 so the, the title is a bit of clickbait. Um, but uh, I'll be showing you the drops that syrup gets you uh, and the value that the drops are worth and all that so I'll be going over that in a bit because I recorded every fucking single one of them besides 11 just for this video and that's a lot of effort and a lot of um, extra damage I took whilst doing SERP so I hope you guys enjoy the video and first off I have to say that I didn't take any resources into account this video is about pure profit you get from syrup and the amount of items you get and which items you get as well. Um, I also didn't get any crystals. I did get the pet at 298 kills though. That's the only drop I've gotten off of syrup. But no crystals. So we're just going over the normal drops that you get and how much you can expect to make from syrup. And no resource costs are taken off of that profit. So it's pure profit. I don't know what it costs if you use monkfish, if you use shark, if you use a lot of prey pots, I don't know. Um, but let's go over the details. So I'm not sure how to go over this, so I'm just going to put in a text of all the drops I got and the amount of drops I got, because obviously I had to elk a lot of them because my bank was full and um, I can't like show you all of them in game, so I'm just making a nice template for you lot. So, in total we've got 3,600 pure essence, 3 rune full helmets, 12 battle staves, 3 lava battle staves, 1 tooth half, 60 fire orbs, we've got 900 death runes, 5 rune arc pickaxes, 165 wines of we got 2,100 soul runes, 2, um, 9 rune two hands, sorry about that, 40 rune ores, we got 650 ashes, 15 key masatellis which have no value because they're untradeable but they're nice to put in. We've got 34 super restores. We've got 150 cannonballs, 17 rune plate bodies, 11 rune axes, 480 blood runes, 8 rune halberds, 5 black dehyde bodies. We've got 60 grimy torstals, 33 torstal seeds and 7 unholy symbols. 33 summer pies, 135,000 coins. For the coins, it's uh, between 10k and 20k. So for the coins, I took an average of just 15k. So we've got 135k coins at 15k per drop. We got 220 dragon bones, 300, 320 unfinished rune bolts, 11 rune chains, 4,200 fire runes. We got 45 uncut diamonds. 1680 coal and one hell puppy. I put the hell puppy in because it's nice to have like all the, the sets of three and I mean it's a drop. <laughs> so that concluded it uh, seems that Cerberus is quite profitable and that is the normal drops excluding the crystals and the crystals they go for quite a lot like the primordials right now are 21.5 mil, pagations are 170k Eternals are 6 mil and Smoldering Stones are 800k. And now, of course, we are going to go over the total value of all the loot. So, um, I calculated the total value by using current GE prices and every um, drop that has a value over 10k. I didn't take all the small numbers, so it's that saying something is like 10,562. I just went for 10.5k. So, in total, all of the loot combined for the 289 kills was 6,500,000, GP. So, that is absolutely intense. But surprisingly so, that only brings us to an average of 22. 675k per drop so every per kill so every Cerberus kill is roughly worth 22.6k uh, that's not a lot 
I figured it would be much more than that, but imagine getting a primordial and that just skyrockets the loot, skyrockets from 6.5 to fucking 29 mil or something like that. So that's mad, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, uh, because this video was quite a lot of, lot of effort to record, put into, edit. Um, so I do really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos, of course. And I will see you in the next one.